What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. For today's video, I bought some of the most viral TikTok shop gadgets. I'm pretty sure you're always on TikTok like me. You're scrolling, you come across a TikTok shop item and you're wondering, does this work or does it not work? So for today's video, I bought all these gadgets. I'm gonna test them out and I'm gonna let you know if they work or if they don't work. If you guys are excited for today's video, you guys already know the drill. Drop a like, subscribe. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's test out the first gadget. For our first gadget, we have this can slash soda opener. Now this, you might look at it and be like, what the heck is this, Kita? Now listen, I always have nails on. They're usually this length or a little bit longer. So I always struggle to open things, especially soda can. So when I saw this, that it's a gadget that you easily can open up the soda or the can, I was like, that's for me. I need to test this out to see if it actually does work. So typically I would do this, like struggle to like open it. But with this gadget, you just get the gadget, hook it on. Bruh. And then, voila, <laughs> that was so easy. Not only can you do it with soda can, but you can also do it with a can. So let's test this out. Dude, this gadget is so unnecessary for me. <laughs> unnecessary for you, but necessary for me because this is really gonna come in hand. Let's see. Okay, you're saying right now it's unnecessary, but in the next couple of days, I don't want to see you use this. <laughs> it's honestly so convenient. I really like it. I definitely think that this is worth it. For this next gadget, we have this OctoBuddy dupe. But before we put it to the test, guys, a quick little reminder. If you guys didn't know, I'm currently using Snapchat a lot. I'm posting like a lot of behind the scenes, more content of me and Jason, like going out and testing new fast food things, a little bit of everything. So if you guys want to see- Things that don't make it on YouTube, make it on Snapchat. Exactly. If you guys want to see more of my life behind the scenes, make sure to add me on Snapchat. It is Makeup by Pita with a double A, or you guys can simply just scan the Snapchat code here on the screen. So now let's try out the OctoBuddy dupe if you guys are not familiar with the octo buddy basically what you do is you put it behind your phone case and it sticks to literally anything now the only bad thing is like the first octo buddy that they came out with it had adhesive on one side and it had the little suctions on the other side but whenever you took it off it messed up your phone case for example mine literally took off all the words once the adhesive came off so now they came out with like a newer version so it has a suction on both sides so that way it doesn't mess up your phone case we're gonna put it to the test and hopefully this does work i think the octobody is like twenty dollars this one was like eight or nine dollars so way more affordable now let's see if it sticks onto the glass <gasps> it did work wait 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 <laughs> i'm scared no it, it's working it's working literally perfect oh there we go see i knew it was too good to be true it doesn't stick onto the case so i guess you just have to reapply it every time yeah but that's too much of a hassle like it should get the job done all at once and i feel like that's too much hassle like taking it off putting it back on the phone case so i'm gonna have to say this gadget does not work <laughs> For this next gadget, we have this S'mores to Love Roasting Reel. Guys, when I saw this, the little girl in me was like, buy it, Peter, buy it. So this is a fork that rotates and extends to 27 inches. So you can use it to make marshmallows, but it's also great for hot dogs. I don't even know if this is going to work, but all I know is that one thing that I hate when it comes to making your s'mores is that you usually get like a little piece of stick and then you're over there and it's like, I feel like my finger is roasting with the marshmallow because it gets then, so hot. And the stick starts burning exactly so when i saw this i was like oh my god hopefully it does work because if it does work this is going to make making s'mores so much easier so it comes in two pieces you just pop it in place there we go that's it that's it why is it not working wait oh there you go there we go it needs to snap Ooh. in place is it extending maybe you pull it like an antenna try to pull it Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, Ooh. wait. So this is for this to rotate. Right. Oh, I thought that if I did this, it was going to extend by itself. No. But no, you manually have to extend it. Would you like a s'more today or no s'more? Yes, please. All I'll right. take one. Let's do two s'mores. Hopefully they fit. Let's see. There we go. We got two marshmallows. We're just going to rotate it until they get nice and toasty. This is actually Ooh. so much fun. And that's how you get the perfect s'more. Exactly. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Oh take it. <laughs> you have it too low to the fire. So like up here? Yeah. This is actually kind of fun. This reminds me of the ro rotisserie chicken at Costco. You know how they're rotating all the time? <laughs> that's literally what it reminds me of. Okay, there we go. We're done. <laughs> that, I don't think that's roasted. That's actually burned. 
It's okay, as long as it's nice and soft like that. That's literally perfect. That's what we want. There you go. Bro, what is this? Why do you have to give them the close-up? Just don't show them. Okay, this actually does work, guys. I would definitely buy this again. Just don't get it too close to the fire like I did. Maybe keep it like up here. Cheers, let's try it. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm, -hmm. mm, that's actually so good. Final thoughts, I definitely recommend this gadget. For this next gadget, we have this pickle and olive hourglass container. With this, you can separate the pickles and the olives from the brine. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the packaging. Now we're gonna test it out with some pickles, but of course you can use pickles, olives, a fruit cocktail, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and open the pickles. If this works, it's gonna come in handy because I hate grabbing a fork yes. and then sticking it in there and then taking it out and then washing the fork mm -hmm. and doing all that. This is just gonna save a lot of time if it or does like work. Or like whenever you get pickle juice, all over your fingers so here we go imagine it just opens up <laughs> <laughs> don't say that wait the pickles are stuck are they gonna fit oh perfect now we just put the lid back on I have to make sure the lid is in place if not it's gonna spill everywhere so as you guys can see we have all the pickle juice but whenever you're not using it you flip it over and then you are with the juice and whenever you're like mm, I'm craving a pickle take it out of the fridge Flip it over, you open it, and you just get your pickle without getting pickle juice all over your fingers, without getting a fork and all that stuff. Mm. I wanna say that this gadget is definitely worth it. Up next, we have this bicycle shaped pizza cutter. You can use this to cut your pizza, pie crust, and also dough. By the way, guys, I'm gonna try to find similar gadgets on Amazon and I'll leave them linked down below in case you guys are interested. So I already have my pizza nice and ready. And this is the pizza cutter. It's in a really fun shape of a bicycle. One thing that I think I'm really gonna like about this is that it has a double blade. So I like that because usually whenever I'm cutting the pizza, I'll like have to go over it more than once and I feel like with this one the first little blade goes through and then also the second one goes right after so it might be an easier process to cut the pizza so let's test it out uh oh there you go there you go see is it gonna work or am I gonna have to go over it again oh, Bruh, a it, little bit it's not sharp enough exactly. wow Here, let's go again maybe I need to press a little bit harder watch one of the wheels just pump out of place okay that worked better I think that I just have to press down a little bit harder. Let's try one more time. Perfect, yeah, see, I told you my theory, what I was thinking was right. I like how it has double blade instead of just one. But do you one. think it's worth it? You know, it does feel a little flimsy. It doesn't feel like it's really like sturdy and strong. So I'm gonna have to say that this gadget is like 50-50. It works right now, but I don't think it'll last a very long time. For this next gadget, we have these height increase in soles. So you put these in your shoes and you're supposed to grow 3.5 inches taller, guys, taller. So when I saw these, I was like, ooh. Okay, okay, I'm sold. I need <laughs> exactly, these in my life. Exactly, exactly. That's why I was like, let me give them a try. I know you guys probably think I'm like 5'5", five, 5'7", five, five, but I'm actually like five feet, 5'1", five, according to my driver's license. So we're gonna put these to the test and we're gonna see if I actually do grow 3.5 inches. So first things first, Jason has a piece of tape. I'm going to put myself against the wall so you guys can see if I do okay, grow any taller. Okay, let's mark you. Let's put it right there. Right there? Right there. No, okay. no, no. Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay, okay. Now we're going to take these out. They only had one size. This is actually a little too big for my shoe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these out and I'm going to put them inside of my shoe. And we're going to see if I do grow any taller. So I already put the insole in one of my shoes. I already have it on. So this is what it looks like. I'm thinking each layer is an inch. So you can decide you can do one layer, two layers, or all three. How are you feeling today? Three inches, two inches, or one? I'm feeling like I want to see the world from a different perspective. So we're going to do three, <laughs> three layers for three inches. We're going to put it in my shoe. Here we go. Oh my God, this feels so weird. It almost feels like I'm wearing a high heel. Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, okay. Are you ready? <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. Wait, I think I'm taller than you. <laughs> no, no, you're not taller than me. I'm but you taller are, than you. This, it does work, but it looks like, no, wait, it doesn't even look like you're walking weird. Okay, I'm sold. I need these. <laughs> I need these. It almost feels like if I'm wearing like a wedge, like a high heel, it's actually pretty comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. I can't picture myself though running. 
Yeah, no, not for running, not for <laughs> all running. All right, all right, Stan, this is the test right here. Oh, yeah, look. Let's see, Bruh. let's see. Is it three inches? 3.5? Uh, wait, I don't think three inches. No, yeah, maybe. Yes, What do you guys so. think? Like in two inches? But not three. Is it 3.5 inches, guys? Let us know in the comments. But I definitely do feel taller. Wow. This actually feels really good. <laughs> I'm going to have to say that this gadget definitely does work. For this next gadget, we have this LED faucet adapter. You put this on your faucet and it's supposed to turn on an LED light. Now it has three different lights. You have green, blue, and red. It changes as the water temperature is also changing. So let's give this a try. It looked very cool. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give it a try. So it does come with this adapter if you need it. No, it does not fit. Bruh. It said it was universal and it fit most faucets, but uh, it does not fit mine. What if we just hold it in place? You think that'll yeah, work? Yeah, you could and okay. just see if it works. Let's see. Let's turn on the hot water. <gasps> Maybe a little bit less. Where's the LED light? It's not turning on. It's in the bottom. You have to click it? <laughs> no. It's not What if working. you turn it up more? Try it. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, as you guys saw, this gadget was a fail. This did not work for my faucet. For this next gadget, we have this instant ice cream maker. Now you have to put this in the freezer for 24 hours facing down. I've actually left it in the freezer for 48 hours because I really want this to work. So all you need to make your ice cream is just milk, heavy whipping cream, sugar, and like if you want to put some strawberries, Oreos, whatever you want. We're just going to keep it nice and simple. So first things first, we're going to take some of the milk, not that much. We're going to go heavy on the heavy whipping cream. I know we did this in a past video when we bought it on Amazon and it it didn't work. No, it wasn't from Amazon. It was from Wish. From Wish? Yes. Okay, okay. So it didn't work. I know we tried it before. So hopefully this one actually works. I'm crossing my fingers that we can make this work. We're going to add some sugar. <clears throat> mix it all together. Now that we mix it, I'm going to take out the ice cream maker from the freezer so we can pour it on top and crossing our fingers that we get ice cream. So here is the instant ice cream maker. As you guys can see, it's nice and cold and frozen. We're going to take our mixture, pour it in the ice cream maker. We're gonna let it sit here for three minutes and then we're going to scrape it and hopefully we get some really good ice cream rolls. Five minutes later. Guys, I think this time it actually did work. Oh my yes. God. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's see, let's attempt to roll it. Okay, come on. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> Try to pick it up. Try to pick it up. Whoa. Okay, we definitely got ice cream. We didn't get ice cream rolls, but we got an ice cream sheet. You should Let's, just bite it like yeah, a sandwich. Yeah, I was literally just going to do that. Let's just take a bite. Mmm. literally tastes like vanilla ice cream, like okay. frozen yogurt. I want to try this. Take a piece. Mm. The it's fact that it that it worked. Imagine if we would have added like some Oreos to it. That would have been a game Strawberry, changer. Strawberry, banana, some walnuts in here. You can really elevate the ice cream. We just wanted to do something plain and simple, just to see if it did work. But as you guys saw, this gadget does work. So I know this is not a gadget, but a fun fact, I love, love pickles, guys. Like whenever I go somewhere, I ask for extra pickles on my burger and I found this pickle flavored toothpaste. And I know it seems kind of weird, but I was like, I love pickles so much. Like maybe a pickle flavored toothpaste is not bad after all. Like imagine waking up, like brushing your teeth to like pickle flavored toothpaste. Okay, like, that's disgusting. <laughs> like, it, it, I don't think it can be that bad. So I was like, you know what? Let me just add it to cart and just give it a try. Maybe it's just like washing your teeth with like pickle juice or something. Ew, you know what I mean? that's gross. Pickle juice is actually pretty good. It's not that bad. Packaging A1. Love how the theme is all green. I wonder if the toothpaste is green. <gasps> Wait, I didn't even think of that. Jason, this literally smells like a pickle jar. It's not green. It's oh, wine. It, that smells disgusting. I it would not do like that. Pickle. Oh, it's not green. No, it's just white. Here we go. Ooh. That is nasty. Hmm. <coughs> I'm gonna throw up right now. It's just like a, it's like minty, but also like pickle. Like guys, it's actually not that bad. If you love pickle, I feel like this is definitely for you. But if you don't like pickle like Jason, yeah, uh -huh. like, don't try it. I'm gonna personally say that this does taste like pickle and it's also nice and minty. 
For this last gadget, we have this fruit slash vegetable slicer. So enable to make things a little bit easier instead of like going in with your knife, slicing one by one. All you have to do is just grab, for example, strawberry, place it here, do this, and it slices it for you. It's that easy. Let's see if it does work. So I have a strawberry. We're just gonna place it and then just do this. And then you grab another one. Wait, wait, did it actually work? Yes, it does. Look, 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 look. Oh. That easy. There wow. we go. Let's try it with the banana. If I cut the strawberry, I'm pretty sure I can cut the banana. You're right. A banana is way easier than the strawberry. Ooh, the perfect slice. Perfect. Look at that. Literally in seconds, you can slice strawberries, banana, mushrooms, literally whatever you want. I'm going to say that the last gadget was a success. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you guys can get notified every single time that I post a new video. And remember, guys, if you want to see more of my life behind the scenes, add me on Snapchat. And if you do want to see a part two of testing out these TikTok shop of viral gadgets, let me know in the comments down below. Love y'all so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win.